Following a flat opening, the tour of California Women's Race took on a more testing terrain for Stage 2 as the riders gathered in South Lake Tahoe for an ascent-filled loop around the surrounding mountains. Covering 108 kilometres, the route took in three classified climbs, including the infamous Kingsbury Grade, where United Healthcare's Katie Hall showed off her strength last year on the way to victory. This always feels like a home race because my friends come out, like I live in NorCal, and so this is the only race that's really within a driving distance of my home, so I'm really excited to, yeah, just race and, and celebrate with my friends, hopefully. Again, we haven't, we haven't done this whole, anything like that this year, so it'll be really interesting to see how it Time gap should be pretty big coming off of King's grade. Um, and this, this, again, this is such a challenging finish that it, it usually opens up. But you never know, it could come down this seconds like last year as well. It's going to be a hard day. You have the King's Great climb, which is really hard, and uh, the altitude is really hard. And, but the, the weather is beautiful, so looking forward to it. I just want to purely enjoy riding my bike and racing here. It's a beautiful area and ever since I got here yesterday I was like, oh my god, it's so impressed. Yeah, it's going to be interesting, I think. I know that uh, we've got Katie Hall or Megan Garnier who are really good climbers and I just want to know if they are going to make me suffer or <laughs> if I'm going to make them suffer. <laughs> At the start at Heavenly Mountain Resort, it took only three kilometres for the first break of the day to form, as Hagen Berman Supermint rider Lily Williams and Team Sunweb's Corin Rivera went off the front and quickly built a lead of 25 seconds. By the time they hit the first climb of the day up Highway 89, the advantage was up to 50 seconds and it had grown to over a minute before Williams crossed the summit first and took the first Queen of the Mountains points on offer. As the two riders hurtled down the descent, Rivera began to lose touch with Williams before dropping back to the peloton. But the latter soldiered on solo, building her lead to an impressive two minutes as the stage crossed the halfway point. The pack behind would subsequently start ramping up the chase, however, and as Williams reached the 70km mark, her advantage was coming down quickly. The Americans' brave effort finally came to an end before the race reached the penultimate climb of the day, Kingsbury Grade. And as the peloton hit the 12 km climb bottom slope, it was still anyone's stage for the taking. With the pack gradually being whittled down before the summit, the attacks began to come and eventually a select group of six, Katie Hall, Taylor Wiles, Cassia Nuodoma, Zara Podivar, Carolina Rodriguez and Erica Minaldi found themselves away at the front. That six soon became two when Hall launched an attack that only Wiles could follow. The two Americans cresting the summit together and descending down into South Lake Tahoe for the final five kilometres. Behind, Nuodoma was chasing hard, but with the pair up front holding on to a lead of 30 seconds, it was clear the Canyon SRAM leader would not be contesting the stage win. Onto the final uphill drag to the finish, Hall produced almost exactly the same move she pulled off in the previous year when away with Anna van der Breggen, attacking Wiles just before the steepest section and riding away to all but certain glory. By the time she reached the finishing straight, her lead was nearly half a minute, giving the race's new GC leader more than enough time to lift her arms in celebration and savour the victory. Wiles, meanwhile, came home for impressive second place, while Neodoma had to be content with third. Yeah, I got a small break and I had like seven riders with me and nobody wanted to come around. And so then I just put some more pressure on the pedals and dropped everybody except for Taylor on that climb and was really happy to have Taylor on the descent on the flat to the final climb because she's really powerful on that kind of stuff. And I know that from being her teammate last year. I was feeling a little bit of pressure before the stage because everyone was like, last year you lost by one second. And I kind of said, you know what, I want to forget about that. And I just want to, today's a new day and I want to race my bike and give it a try. Yeah, it definitely was fun. It was a little nerve wracking in the beginning. Once we got to the big climb, I was a little more settled because at that point it's just what your legs could do. And then when her and I were off together, I was just really waiting for that steep 1k where I knew she was gonna attack me so I just did my best and fought to the end. It was long and I thought they were coming back and then they were like your gap is growing and I was 
simultaneously excited and disappointed, but it was a really fun day in the saddle. So, I mean, it's it's pretty awesome. I think the most exciting part about it is that we had Whitney yesterday in it, so um, two days in a row we've been able to snag it and uh, ride in it again tomorrow, so it's going to be really exciting. Outside the podium places, V Pink's Minaldi was the best of the rest in fourth, while Tibco's Australian champion, Brodie Chapman, produced a late burst over the closing kilometres to earn fifth. And having missed out on overall victory last year by a mere second, new race leader Hall holds a much more comfortable advantage heading into the final criterium stage in Sacramento.